Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, Art Clock Bruce, thanks for joining me on this next warm up, 10 minute warm up, um, focusing on indie characters. Today I'm doing Hero by Muttman and Macho Dan. The book was released, I believe, in 2019, uh, crowdfunded and released. Uh, kudos to them. It's an interesting character. It's a f fun character to draw. Uh, muscle man type with some techno hooked up. And yeah, so today's 10 minute warm up is a profile hero. So um, I am not going to talk about what I'm doing during this 10 minute warm up. Because I think you can see that. Um, I watched my last video I did at Jack Irons and decided, yeah, nobody wants to hear me talk about me laying down lines and, you know, what color I use when I'm doing uh, digital drawing. So, what I thought I might do is try to stress, by the way, um, I have a fan going in the background over here. I tested it and I didn't hear it in the test, but for some reason it just got louder. I'm not sure why. So I'm hoping that um, it's going to be okay. So anyways, getting back to what I was going to talk about, I'm going to talk about why I think indie comics are important, why they've always been important, and why I think in this day and age of current comic books, why I think they're even more important. When you're dealing with mainstream entertainment of any kind, comic books, movies, TV, you have to understand that those people, those industries, their main goal is to make money. That's what they're trying to do. Without the money, they can't do anything. And the people in charge of those industries, studio executives or editors in chief uh, are beholden to the stockholders of those companies. They have a fiduciary responsibility to try to make as much money as they possibly can. So I am completely convinced that every decision they make is based on how much money they think they're going to make. That's why it's important if you don't like something, you don't spend the money on it. I mean, you just that, that just falls within reason. So how does that apply to indie comics? Well, indie comics gives another avenue for people to seek out their entertainment, all right? It, it breaks away from the norm because independent creators and independent companies for the most part, I'm not saying they don't want to make money. Obviously, they want to make money doing what they do. But they're not beholden to someone who has no idea what is good in that industry and what is not. Because what's good is not a final judgment for what gets made, what gets greenlit, what gets put on paper, what gets printed and published and sent out. For people to consume. In the indie market, I think the idea that you build a following and fans of your IP is the most important thing from the beginning. You want to make money, of course, but the money comes once you build that following. So in the in the indie world, they could be more, uh, they're more beholden to their fans as a, as opposed to being beholden to uh, shareholders and people that actually own the company. So whenever you get down about the ways, the state of things in the particular industry that you, you know, are the most interested in, always seek out those 
independent creators and people that are going to do things that they believe are going to entertain their readers and their fans or their watchers. Okay. So, and that's why independent comics are a good medium for that. And that's why I think if more people gave independent comics a chance, they would see that there's a lot of good stories out there. A lot of well-written stories, a lot of well-drawn books. Um, there's a lot of talented people out there. And they just don't get the recognition because they don't have the money to advertise. You know, they don't have a parent company that's just using that industry as a incubator for ideas that they can throw upon the big screen to try to make the big money, right? We know that big money is not in comics anymore, not like it used to be. So... Books like Hero here that I'm drawing, or like I did last week, Jack Irons, or some books that I have, or independent creators or independent characters that I plan on doing this with in the future, like Monster MD from Von Claus and uh, Shinobi Sasquatch. Um, there are a bunch of other ones that I want to do as well. Like I have lots of ideas. I just need you guys to come and, and watch it and support it, right? And hopefully I'll be able to turn you on to some independent books that you haven't heard of. And maybe they strike your fancy. Of course, all these characters are going to be drawn in my style. So, you know, um, you'll have to pick up the originals to decide whether or not that's something you're going to enjoy. So, And I hope that this these series of videos help do that. But... Like I, you know, my I guess my point being that in any industry, companies and entities start to become popular and they become bigger and they get more fans and more money comes in. And as more money comes in, the corporate rot starts to, I don't like to say corporate rot because, hey, I'm a capitalist. I believe in being able to make money where you can make it, do what you have to do. But sometimes that desire to make more money and to make the most money that you can make really starts to degrade the property or the item or whatever that you're trying to sell, right? Um, it gets diluted. The idea that this is going to be popular because of this or because of what I've read on Twitter or because of what's going on in society or that all gets put in the pot and stirred around to see, you know, is it going to sell? Is it going to translate into dollars? And it doesn't necessarily mean that we want to make a good story. They don't, a, a lot of times, it, on a very rare occasion, do they worry about making a good story or developing new cool characters or things of that nature, right? I think you'll see it, you know, why you see so many sequels, come, sequels that come out for movies or remakes, reboots of old movies, because those movies were popular at the time. They made a lot of money. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. And it, that's exactly what they do now. And you can see it. I don't even have to go into all the recent bullshit that you see. But I think you get my meaning. So in closing, as far as that goes, you know, give the give the indie creators a shot. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You don't have to stick with it. But at least you've opened your mind to the idea that, you know, there's other good stuff out there. You just have to look around, right? It doesn't have to be with the big two in, in the comic industry. And I think when more people take on that uh, mentality, I think you see indie comics thrive. 
So anyways, I'm done with this hero. My 10 minutes is up. I've got a pretty good sketch down. And the next part you'll see here is a sped up where I go and try to bring it to a finished state. I mean, it's going to have some shading. The lines will be a little bit cleaner. Um, I think I took another 20, 25 minutes doing it. So a total of 30, 35 minutes to do this in case that matters to you or whatever. So thanks again for checking this out. Um, I, hope, I hope you come back and check out some more. And let me know what you think, even of my comments I made about the indie market. Let me know in the comments below and or on Twitter, at Art Club Bruce. So have a good one and enjoy the rest of this.